fuck is this cocksucker do? Ave Satanas, Ave Lucifera, Ave Lord Belial, Ave Lord Leviathan, Ave Beautiful Queen Lilith, Ave Queen Tiamath, Ave King Paimon, Ave Lord Maimon, Ave Lord Vereen, Ave Lord Volok, Ave King Pazuzu, Ave King Azazel, Ave Lord Bilzebub, Ave to King Asmodeus, Ave to King Asmodee, Ave and hail to every demon and every demoness that's in existence. Those that are known to man, those that men and women know about and know their names, and those that we do not know their names. Ave and hail to every single one of them. The billions of them, and I mean billions. Because I am willing to bet, if I had to take a guess, okay, if somebody asked me to take a guess at it, and guess the amount, of, like if somebody asked me a question, okay, I'll put it this way. If somebody asked me a question, um, how many demonic, how many demons and how many demonesses, a lot of times that's what I call female demons, right, is demon, demonesses. If somebody had to give me a guess, and I, or if somebody asked me the question, I should say, that uh, how many, how many demons or demonesses, ancient gods basically, that I thought that there really is, and my answer, 666% would be, I think that there's, or I, honest, I honestly, not think, I honestly believe that there is, like, I will say, billions, and not just one billion, like, multi-billions, like, because... Nobody knows. I don't think there's one person, and I'm not joking around, I'm dead serious, like I am on all my videos that I do. Every video I do, I'm dead serious on it. And I will say this, that in my honest opinion, in my humble, respectful, politeful opinion towards the demonic, I honestly believe that there is at least billions of demonic entities. And that's not including the jinn. That's not including the, the, the jinn and, I, and all the other ones. And all the other ones that go along with the jinn. That's just the ones that, you know, I think about that are, Roman, that are around. And I'm willing to bet, actually. Actually, I'm not willing to bet. I pretty much... Uh, I'll even go as far as say that as I know that there, that King Lucifer, Father Satan, Lord Belial, beautiful Queen Lilith, Queen Astaroth, King Bel Lord, Bel Lord Leviathan, Lord Bilzebub, Lord Pazuzu, you know, Queen Lilith, Astarte, Queen a Lord Astarte, Queen Astaroth, every demon, every, every, every ancient god, I'm willing to bet that every millisecond out of every day that there are demonic entities around us. Because I know for a fact that from me doing ghost hunting, I haven't done it in like a year or two, probably a couple years. Yeah, about a couple years. But from when I used to do ghost hunting a lot, and I used to do it a lot, I mean every fucking night. Well, not every night, but a lot, put it that way. And in saying that, I, I really do believe that there are, well, I know one thing, a wise guy once said, a wise man, years ago, like many years ago, said that for every human being that's alive on this planet, there is at least, at least 30 ghosts or 30 spirits, be it human or not. Uh, around each individual, tw every millisecond of every day. Now, I do believe that, too, to be honest with you. And I do believe that there's demonic entities around us every single day. No question. But that's not what I was going to do the video about. That just got me, you know, I just got on that topic for a second. Uh, I was watching a video earlier that Brother Michael done. Uh, Michael Heisen. Michael's a really good brother. 
uh, he was, and he was talking about, he was talking about, uh, you know, Satanism and the different branches of Satanism, right? Like, so-called Levan. I don't even consider that Satanism because, you know, the ones that run the, sat the so-called Satanic Church now, uh, in the Church of Satan, they got on their front page that they're atheists. So, what? How in the hell do you consider yourself a Levan if you are an atheist? Because, in my honest opinion, and I said this in videos that I did before, in my honest opinion, Levay, Anton Zandor Levay, when he founded the Church of Satan, and in the first two books of the Satan, or the first, the last two books of uh, the Satanic Bible, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the Book of Leviathan. Uh, well, there's Belial, Leviathan, Lucifer. and it could be the Book of Belial. I'm not sure that are in the Satanic Bible. They're open to interpretation. Okay, so they're open to whatever or whichever any person wants to choose them as. And that's why he left them open for interpretation. Like, the man knew what he was doing when he wrote that book. He really did. And, in my honest opinion, you know, a lot of people go to the Satanic Bible, and the only, re and the only reason they say, I think, in my honest opinion, I think the reason why a lot of people just go to the Satanic Bible and say, okay, I'm the van, is because it's the most popular, it's, it seems to be the most popular thing. But they don't realize that uh, they're all atheists. So why the fuck are you calling yourself Levan? You know, why call yourself Levan if you're atheist? Like, where do... I don't even consider, in all honesty, I don't even consider them. Like, I really don't at all. I do not consider them in no way, shape, or form do I consider them. I don't consider that... I don't consider them... How's it going, boss? I don't, I don't consider them at all. In no way, shape, or form do I consider them anything. Like, uh, that's like the Temple of Satan. I don't consider them anything. Because the first thing they'll say is, they're more of a political movement thing. They're not, they're not Satanists at all. They're just using the name. See, that's what I mean about, and that's what I said about in videos of the past. People using Father Satan's name for nothing. For bullshit. And that's exactly what the Temple of Satan does, is doing. And that's exactly what Peter Gilmore and Blanche Barton are doing it in the uh, Church of Satan. And apparently, from what I heard on the grapevine, uh, actually I heard it from a friend, of my, a brother of mine, a good brother of mine. Uh, apparently, Anton's youngest son is trying to get some payback for all the years and for what his father has found it. So I hope he does. I really do. I'd like to see him put Gilmore and the other one, Lance Barton, bankrupt. I really would. The guy rightfully deserves something out of it. His father built something, and after his father dies, two other people take over it and ruin it. And they get fat off the profits. Why, well, you know, so I honestly hope his son does get, get something out of it. I really do. Like, I'm not joking around. And in all honesty, the Satanic Bible is a good book for... It's a great book for Satanists to start as. Or people on the left-hand path. You know, for if you want to go into, like, spiritual Satanism, theistic Satanism, traditional Satanism, you know, it's a, it's a great book to, uh, to start as. Because in my... Levain Satanism, that's, that don't even exist, in my opinion. That's just a name. Like, that's nothing. Literally. And I don't care if I have the van Satanists that, or so-called the van Satanists that listen to this video or not. I really don't care. I'm just telling you like it is, man. Just read between the lines and do your history. And then you'll know. Simple as that. And that's like, uh, same crap at the Temple of Satan. I don't know why there's so many people that follow them and go along with it because all it is is... All it is is Lucian Greaves, and that's not even his real name. Lucian Greaves and, uh, that's not his real name, by the way. 
him and a few other people at the top of that food chain is getting rich off people. Simple. You know? And they found a way to do it. You know, but the sad part about it is, is he's using Father Satan's name in the process. But, little does he know, by using Father Satan's name in the process to do that, he's the one that's being, he's a, He's the one that's going to have to pay for it in, like everybody else that uses Father Satan's name for bullshit. Anybody, and I don't care who the person is, I'd, I'd say it even if it was me. If I was using Great Father Satan, King Lucifer, or any ancient god's name for popularity, or for notoriety, or for to gain, you know, money gain, or anything like that, I, uh... I truly and definitely would, I truly and definitely would, uh, I truly and definitely would, uh, deserve what I had, had coming to me at the tail end of it. Because I can guarantee you right now, and I'm not just saying that I do know what I'm talking about, because I've seen it happen to people, okay? So I can back it up. Uh, people that, people that use Father Satan's name for no good, for bullshit, like, you know what I mean? Uh, they, themselves, in the long run, okay, or in the short run, depending on, depending on, you know, how Father Satan feels at the mo in the mood or whatever, or which demonic feels in the, which demon feels in the mood or ancient God. Now they, <laughs> they'll pay for it big time. Just put it that way. They'll for, they'll pay for it psychologically. Which is a cruel way to pay for it, but it is what it is. You get what you deserve, right? Don't pay for it psychologically, and don't pay for it physically. I know that for a fact. You can't mock the demonic. No way, shape, or form. And with that, I'll let everybody go. Ave Satanus, Ave Lucifera, Ave Lord Belial, Ave Lord Leviathan, Ave Beautiful Queen Lilith, Ave Queen Astaroth, Ave Queen Tiamath, Ave King Pazuzu, Ave King Paman, Ave Lucifer. Prime Minister Lucy Fudge Raphael, Ave Lord Bilzy Bob, Ave Beautiful Sunny Lion, Ave to every demon and every demoness that's in existence. Ave Satanus. I'll talk to you next, guys.